I know I'm toxic. I know I need to change. I, I don't know what you want me to say. It's time for the Love is Blind season six reunion. And man, was it a good one? We got the truth about Jeremy's engagement outside the pod. Sarah Ann comes in like a wrecking ball. Trevor um, has um, something to say. Um. um. Nah, say it with your chest. We've got the recap of all of that and more, so let's get into it. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Now, aside from finding out that Johnny and Amy are still married and do know what a condom is, there was a whole lot more drama than there was wholesomeness during this reunion, which thank God for that. Let's start with my main mulleted man, Trevor, who seemed absolutely shocked to have his text to the secret girlfriend he had during the show, read by Nick Lachey. I, I had a whole thing planned to say. Trevor finally explained he wasn't technically dating this girl when he went on the show, and that he wanted to go on Love is Blind to meet someone he typically wouldn't go for in real life. There's no justifying that. That sounds horrible what I just said in that. That is horrible. Also, Trevor said his relationship with his non-girlfriend girlfriend was super toxic, and that while he did go on the show for maybe some career-related reasons, he was also genuine and wanting to find love too. I'm I'm toxic as well. I, I admit that. Like I am I need a lot of like therapy. How about goodbye? Because I am way more curious about the Jeremy and Sarah Ann of it all, because these two have now been dating for almost a year and they even live together. But they swear nothing untoward happened during their little all-nighter. Nothing inappropriate happened. We did hang back and continue to talk afterwards. The only time I was ever at Sarah Ann's house is when I went to go drop her off. Now these two were adamant they didn't even kiss when they were in the lost and found parking lot, allegedly. But Laura, who couldn't be at the reunion in person due to a work thing, she doesn't really care. I don't care what they did till 5 a.m. I think they're both disgusting. We also clarified at the reunion that while the audience didn't know that Jeremy had been engaged before he entered the pods, he did tell both Laura and Sarah Ann, so at least that we can blame on editing. Needless to say, Laura still isn't on good terms with jet skiing's poster couple. You've never taken accountability. You've never like flat out apologized. You're a clown, okay? But she is dating someone and I bet he doesn't wear Hawaiian shirts under a suit. Let's move on to one of our other explosive breakups of the season, Clay and AD. Clay admitted that leaving AD at the altar was a big mistake. She's honestly the love of my life and I will tell you honestly, I did make a mistake. And AD is like, okay, what do you want me to do about that? I'm not dating you again. Mm -hmm. And I feel like low key, Respectfully, you yeah. played in my face. Mm -hmm. You played in my face, Clay, because you knew you didn't want to get married. In fact, we learned that she actually went on two dates with Matthew after their pod split, but things fizzled almost immediately, which is probably for the best. Now, I was both shocked and not shocked to see that Jimmy and Chelsea are cool after their split. They seem like they were like the calmest we've seen them all season. Basically, Jimmy said the relationship was broken when Chelsea betrayed his trust by bringing up his friend hookup on camera, especially because it really upset his friend to have her dirty laundry aired out there for everyone. One of them is really pissed off at me for mentioning it. But still, Jimmy said he wanted to tell Chelsea because he wanted to marry her, so he didn't want her to have any surprises pop up. Chelsea, meanwhile, apologized for outing Jimmy and his friend, admitting that her reaction to it kind of ruined everything. I could never apologize enough for how horrible I feel for bringing it up and ruining that trust. When did this couple take a chill pill? I swear, they've been in therapy, much like Trevor should be. Now, the final shock of the reunion for me came with our first broken up couple. While Kenneth and Brittany might not have been feeling the crave before their split, they said they're like platonic besties now and that they talk every day. Now, I honestly did not see that coming, but maybe it's just because I didn't recognize Kenneth without a phone in his face. What a reunion, what a season. Those are the biggest bombshells of the Love is Blind season six reunion. Let me know in the comments, what did you think? Was there anything that surprised you? Then like and subscribe down below. Head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. And until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. <laughs> <laughs>